Yes. Thank you for cheers. joining me. Cheers. Oh, that's right. You have to look at someone. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Yeah, I forgot about that. Mm hmm. Mm. So, Nathan. Yes. You have a film at TIFF Kids this year, Junction. Do you want to talk a little bit about your show and tell piece oh, yes. that you brought with you? So, my show and tell is from my grandparents who are Lithuanian and Latvian. And this book was given to me uh, when I was a kid, and it was published the year I was uh, born. And it's mainly the illustrations that are inspiring to me and made me want to get into sort of doing stories about fairy tales and folklore. Very yeah. cool. That's a beautiful book. Thanks. Lena, so you have a <laughs> film at Tiff Kids as well, Winter. Yeah, um, so my show and tell, I brought a couple of different items to make it brief, but last year I had a film called The Vow, which is also mm -hmm. at Tiff Kids, and these glasses were part of the film, and I think if I was a kid today, I would just love to <laughs> use these. And speaking Very of cool. superheroes and stuff, or anything you want, but the way to sort of see the world in a different way. The kids in that film used it to watch an eclipse. But um, if I had these as a kid, we'd be, I'd be wearing these every day, probably. Um, and then the other two things, I found a spy book that I had when I was a kid. <laughs> And I was spying on my neighbors and on people walking around <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. And they're hilarious little entries, but very serious sort of, even license plate numbers written down. And, uh, you know, I thought that, you know, they were either drug dealers or, or maybe they were bank robbers, all kinds of different things that all are in this book. And then lastly, um, this is one of many, many, many books that mm -hmm. I read as a kid that Astrid Lindgren, she wrote, uh, Hippie Longstocking, and right. my mom is Swedish, and so she wrote all kinds of storybooks for kids, but this one is an awesome book about uh, a tough girl, robber's daughter who lived in the woods, and uh, got up to all kinds of mischief and adventures, so that was Love a really it. fun inspiration. Amazing. And any other book, really. Right. So, yeah. Fantastic. All right, Alex, Norma's story at Tip Kids is here. Yes, and I brought in an icky bug. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's going to be... Uh, I brought a magnifying glass, so maybe you might have to get another picture of it later. But basically, I believe it's a cicada nymph, and I really like cicadas because they uh, live in the ground for 17 years, and then they uh, come up for one summer and do what they have to do, and that's it. Um, but I found a nymph on a tree once, and you can see where it's uh, oh, cool. split the, uh, I guess, the carapace right. open. The bug comes out, it dries off, and uh, they're the things you hear that are high-pitched whines all summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, just some people think they're high-tension wires that are going, so um, I just wanted to, uh, you know, let people know that they're actually cicada bugs. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of interesting to have these things that are uh, all around you, that, that sort of reminds you that there's stories everywhere and that uh, uh, even when you're just lying on your couch totally bored and you don't know what to do, uh, you may hear like a whine coming out of the window and uh, realize there's a whole, uh, a whole little story going on there. All right, Juliana, Earth Tavery, yeah. at Tiff Kids is here. So for my show and tell, I brought a painting. Mm -hmm. uh, it, this is a mill that my family used to own back in Holland. And so it reminds me a lot of all the stories my Oma and Opa used to tell me when I was growing up, which really ingrained a sense of uh, a love of storytelling from an early age. Amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful.